Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything, and wow, this is going to be a very interesting video. Um, that I've not done anything like this before, um, and the reason why I'm doing this one is because I've um, looked at, and this is all going to be links in the description, and and um, it's it's about uh, the Sims, which I've done videos on it before. As far as um, having getting the Sims for, you've got uh, this guy up here on the um, top here, Optimus, and he does a lot of videos um, in regards to. Uh, things that are going wrong or things that are going right. Um, he does a lot of research uh, into uh, certain things and games. And and he did a video saying EA is ruining The Sims. Now, Dela De De Gracie, I think I'm pronouncing her name right, Dela Gracie, Dela Gracie, I think she said Dela Gracie. Um, she has a little bit of an accent, so I... That's why I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. But she is a big time simmer. I mean, she's very, very, very popular uh, simmer um, that plays The Sims. And uh, she saw his video and thought, huh? What do you mean that EA is ruining The Sims? She's like, I love The Sims. It's not being ruined. So she did a response off of his video. And then... He did a video in response, uh, as a response to her video. So I thought it would be interesting just as a third party to kind of look at bits and pieces of both of their videos. So what I've done is I've, I've taken bits and pieces uh, from their videos and just kind of put them together and just kind of splice them together into something that I could play up here on the screen. So by no means is this scripted. Um, I just kind of went through and tried to um, find things that I wanted to talk about. So if I miss a point that one person has made or another, it was not intentional. Um, like I said, I mean, I could sit here and psychoanalyze this whole thing for hours and weeks and I just I didn't want to do that I just you know wanted to put together a, a, um, a, a simple as a video as I could just um, looking at uh, what both of these two people are, are, are saying because I think they they both have good points and then there's they both have uh, uh, I think are wrong in, in some areas. So um, let me go ahead and put this up here. All right. So that's Dela De La Gracie. Dela La Gracie. I can't say it right. I'm sorry. If, you, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry. I am not. don't mean to butcher your name or anything. All right. So let's, let's start with her. We're going to be looking at a video that was made by someone else. It was made by a creator called Optimus, um, who has titled this video, EA is ruining the Sims. So it would be cool to react as a full-time simmer, if that's even a thing, to this video and see what we think. So, Okay, so first of all, one thing that I want to say, and I don't know why there's a lot of uh, YouTubers that do this. Um, I know they do this on commercial television also. But the jump cuts, man, I hate the jump cuts where you have to cut out every little space in between every little sentence that you have. It is so distracting. I hate it with a passion. And it, it's nothing on you. It's it, it's just me personally. I mean, I, 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 
I went to film school long, long ago. I think it was back in the Stone Age. Um, I, I didn't get into the film industry or anything like that, but I'm, I'm really big into... I love video editing and, and stuff like that. And so I have this passion for editing. And this every time I see these little jump cuts, like you're talking here... And, and as you take a breath, you actually cut. And now you're way over here talking about, you know, it's like, well, you know, it's because I want to talk about um, um, a loaf of bread. You know, I, I hate the jump cuts annoy me so much because it's just, it's like nails on a chalkboard is, is what it is. And she does it and he does it. Why? <laughs> I, I I know you're trying to um maybe shorten your videos or something like that, but it's it's distracting. I just want to get that out there. Anyway. Let's get into it. Over the years, we've seen four main titles in the Sims series. My personal favorite title in the series is The Sims 2, and I've Okay, well I just want to stop right there. Alright, so just a little history on me. Um, I've played The Sims since it first came out. And I, I mean literally, like when it first came out, I remember I was working in a office supply store and this new title, this new game came out and it was on the shelf and I, and I got to take a look at it and it was The Sims. And I was looking at the back and I was talking about, you know, uh, uh, I knew it was done by the people who did SimCity and that it was all with simulated people. And I'm like, this looks interesting. So I've had it since the game first came out. Um, and love The Sims 1. And uh, The Sims 2 was just mind-blowing. It was just fantastic. I mean, it, it took everything that was... The Sims 1 and just took it to a whole new level. I mean, I can't think of anything that The Sims 1 did that was better than Sims 2. As, as far as I know, Sims 2 was a complete 100% improvement over Sims 1. Um, minus maybe a few objects or something that was in The Sims 1 that did not get into Sims 2. Like a Tragic Clown. That would have been great. Anyway, um, so I really did like Sims 2. I, and I got that when it um, came out also. I didn't wait for that one. Now, Sims 3, that one I did wait on a little bit because I was not quite sure if I wanted to get it. I waited until uh, some expansions came out, and I really got hooked into it when the um, Ambitions... Uh, expansion came out. The fact that you could go to your Sims work and be a firefighter and all this other stuff. I, that's when I got in. I got that and eventually I wound up getting all of the uh, Sims 3 um, expansions and packs and stuff like that. Including Katy Perry. Yes, I got that one too. Um, it's not, you know, actually, it's not that bad of a stuff pack. All right. I mean, would I want to decorate my whole house with it? No. But there's like a few objects in there that'd be like, oh, this would be cute for a kid's room, you know, like a little cupcake chair or something, you know. What what, what little kid wouldn't like that? I don't know. So, you know, I wouldn't want to, you know, like I said, decorate a whole house with that stuff. But there's a few bits and pieces that you can grab and use for things. But, um, but yeah, so I wound up getting everything for Sims 3. And for me... It took a bit, but Sims 3 wound up being my favorite. Um, there was just a few things that Sims 2 did better. Um, like, for one, cars that you can back out of a driveway and open up a door and get into. Annoyed me to no end that that wasn't in The Sims 3. And I understand that was probably because of a programming thing. Um, the best that they could do was like, oh, well, here's your Sim room. Here's the car, and whoop, fade in, fade out, drive away, you know. But at least at least you had that open world, and you could sit there and follow your Sims car as it was driving around. 
but uh, Sims 4, there's like no cars at all. There, there's like no, no road. There's no you going over to the street to get into a cab or anything. It's gone. You're just, I just came up with the idea that, well, you're in some parallel world that where cars were never invented. I guess that doesn't quite work though in that in that one city that has the city with the cars in the background. So maybe no one can afford it. I don't know. I. I that was a pretty big oversight on that one. And Sims 4, I was not even interested in that game um, until Seasons came out. Seasons is what did it for me. Um, and it, not right away. The fa EA had a sale before Seasons came out, and I was able to get the base Sims 4 game with cats and dogs for 22 bucks. Hey, you know, that that was a great deal, I thought, and I picked up a few other things, too, while it was on sale, and then I got Seasons for full price. <clears throat> Do I have everything? No. Um, eventually, maybe, I don't know. Um, do I think Sims 4 is a step down from Sims 3? Yeah, definitely. Without a, without a doubt. Um, there are some things that Sims 4 does that is interesting. But, uh, you know, we can save that for another video. Let's kind of get back to this. So, for those of you who have never watched my videos before, um, especially this series, as far as the rambling series, uh, guess what? I ramble. But stick with me here, all right? <clears throat> Noticed as a longtime fan okay. of the franchise that it has gotten much worse over time for one major reason. My biggest pet peeve that also happens to be helping... Okay, so I don't agree with him there, and he seems to contradict himself, too. He says how the game gets worse as the years go by. Well... No, I mean, that's like saying, well, the game got worse from Sims 1 to Sims 2 and from Sims 2 to Sims 3. No, no, it did not. Sims 3 is definitely the better game. I know that's going to be arguable with some people. Some people will say, no way, Sims 2 is better than Sims 3. Um, <clears throat> my wife, for example, she loves The Sims 2. She likes Sims 3, but for her, it's Sims 2. And I think that's mainly because her computer just... <coughs> It just did not like running Sims 3 very well. For me, um, I have an i7 uh, computer <clears throat> with a solid state drive, and I have Sims 3 on that, and I've got all the Sims 3 stuff. And so when I load it up, it's like within, you know, seconds. It doesn't take me like 10 minutes to load it up. And it used to take a lot, you know, before I had a solid state drive. So that's the secret to Sims 3. Fast computer, good graphics card, and a solid state drive. The solid state drive is the big thing because otherwise it takes forever to load. But anyway, um, no, for me, Sims 3 was definitely, was definitely the high point of, of the franchise. I mean, open world, you had the color wheel. There was so much to do. In Sims 3 and I thought all of the expansions and the packs really just loaded up with tons of stuff so but anyway let's continue on here and destroy the game series is the greedy and shady business tactics of EA okay, okay she's saying okay um, I don't know if she's agreeing or she's just acknowledging but it's no secret um, EA has had some pretty shady business practices. Um, that has been pr pretty apparent in the Star Wars Battlefront whole situation with the loot boxes. Um, they are definitely not the only ones out there doing it. Um, but, and I'll get into this point a little bit more further, but um, you can't judge a company because they're putting out expansion packs and DLCs as a shady business practice. All right. Let's go back to The Sims 1. When there weren't any stu stuff packs, there were just expansion packs. And they truly were expansions on the game because originally 
um, The Sims was just meant to be a dollhouse simulator. Um, Will Wright did not think this game was going to be overly popular. Um, it wound up just being it, it wound up just being so popular that no one expected it, and so they found ways to expand upon it, and so really all the expansions for Sims 1 really felt like expansions like the first one allowed you to have parties and stuff and then uh, there was hot dates it's like oh my goodness we can take our Sims away from the neighborhood and actually take them downtown on a date and stuff and I remember that when that first came out I was like oh this is so cool and then um, vacation I b believe was after that or you know was it I think, yeah, Sims Vacation. And then it's kind of like, oh, now we can take our Sims on vacation. This is so cool. And it's like, oh, we got three different areas we can go to. We can go to this cold place or this uh, beach place, you know. Um, so there's, there was that. And then there was Unleashed, where now you got your pets. Um, and and it expanded the neighborhood. And, and, and now you've got the, uh, the community lots. So... You can go to a lot that's not necessarily downtown. You know, it's all within the same neighborhood. And and then you had the Superstar. I loved Superstar. That was fun. And then, you know, you wrapped it all up with Making Magic, which, you know, I mean, Superstar and Making Magic is kind of like, yeah, you don't really need them, but they were definitely expansions. You know, it's 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 like uh, if you if if you wanted the extra stuff, you could get it. So. I did not think that was a shady business practice at all. It was just they were they were building upon the game that they already had. And I thought the same thing with The Sims 2. Um, that's when they introduced the stuff packs. They, they, they were introducing, they were aware, like, oh, people like to make custom content and stuff. That's great. But for those of you that are looking for a little bit more higher quality custom content, because not I remember back in the Sims 1 stuff that a lot of that content wasn't so great. Like, you you rotate around an object. And it looked good from this angle, but it looked like crap from this angle. Because it was isometric. You you didn't It wasn't fully 3D. Um, but yeah, I, I remember that. I, rem I remember how some custom objects were just like, well, it looks cool from this angle. It looks like garbage from this angle. Um... And so it was actually kind of nice to actually have professional artists work on uh, objects and stuff like that. <clears throat> so I didn't really see that as um, a shady business practice either. Now, when we get to The Sims 3 and we get to The Sims Store, okay, well, now, now you're kind of, now you're making a point. <laughs> It was getting a little too far with 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 the store, definitely. Um, they still had the expansions and and the packs, and I I don't think that was a shady practice. But the Sim store was it was really pushing up against that line. Uh, it was for a lot of people, because um, around that time more and more of those free-to-play mobile games where you're sitting there getting nickel-dimed to death it was really becoming popular. And so us gamers could see see this trend and, and, and what was happening. So so I, I agree um, that there's a shadiness to it, but then there's also... A business reason for it and and we'll get into that also too so it's kind of half and half it's not it's not as black and white as as he puts it sims is a more casual game than games like star wars battlefront okay all right here's one thing um for 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 Della gracie when you do this here your little reaction now that may have been a natural reaction but you had to actually go into your editing system and then make this full screen like, ooh, look at me, I'm reacting. That probably did not go very well. Um, it's almost like you're drawing attention to yourself. Um, kind of like, look at me. Um, yeah, I, 
I think that might have rubbed people the wrong way. Um, so I don't think that was a, a wise... Uh, I don't think it was wise to do that. <clears throat> but I don't watch any of your other videos. Maybe that's something that you do on your videos. So it's just kind of consistent. I don't know. But... <clears throat> And I see, I see this on regular TV shows like reality TV and, and just bits. Of, I hate reality TV. I, I hate TV as it is. And they all do this stuff and don't do what they do. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I just, I just sit here with the camera and I just, I just record. It's, I just kind of, I just kind of keep it simple. Um, I'm like looking at my camera. It looks like everything is all like <laughs> everything looks like it's at an angle. It's, yeah. See, I don't edit anything. I, I could sit here and make cuts, and I just I just talk. That's just what it is. That's why my show is called Chef Rambles because I I ramble. Um, but anyway, getting uh to his point where he's saying Sims is a casual game. No, man, it's not a casual game. Um, I heard your arguments. Um, you, yeah, you've got Sims on one side. You've got Skyrim on another. You can't really compare the two. Sims can be just as complicated as a game as Skyrim can be. You can play Skyrim as simple as you want it to be, compare it to sims so sims is as simple or as complicated as you want it to be and skyrim is as simple or as complicated as you want it to be simple um that is that is how i see it now there are casual games and i'll get into that <clears throat> i don't think sims is one of them maybe the first sims maybe the sims one but to me, a casual game would be someone that anyone can pick up and just fool around with for a little bit and then walk away. So The Sims, even if it was the first one or second or whatever, if I were to give that to my in-laws and say, hey, here's a game for you. I don't think that they would just be able to pick it up and just play around with it and like it was nothing. Um, no, it's <clears throat> there. There, there's a lot of passion behind The Sims, and uh, some people take a lot of time as far as like building homes, um, spending time with their legacies, their legacy families. So. To say it's a casual game, no, I I disagree with you. Sorry, man. Two or anything like that. So I mean, I would understand why most fans are, you know, generally okay with what's happening. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Optimus, are you aware of the Sims fan base and how passionate they are about this game? There are certainly masses of players that play this all the time, including myself. They're gonna notice things. That they're not happy with yes that is very true um and he even confirms her point too because um of the whole outcry between with sims 4 not having uh toddlers and pools when it first came out yeah the the vo the ma vocal majority were did not like that one bit and uh and uh ea released that stuff as as free updates now were, was it being planned to be released in the game to begin with or sold later i don't know we'll get to that too uh, a little bit later but um <clears throat> let's continue here then they do yes i'm entirely aware of the sims fans and the community that they've built i'm part of it but i'm also part of multiple different fan groups of different video games i'm probably a fan of dozens of different franchises from a multitude of genres that is not something that a casual gamer typically holds to be true I'm okay so I, I i i would i would agree with him on that um i've i've looked through his channel and he does go through a lot of different games so um i think he's pretty well spoken 
Um, and I can tell that he does, he spends a lot of time in research and, 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 and what he does. <clears throat> and yeah, I would say that uh, your typical casual gamer is, you know, they're probably not going to be spending a lot of time with, you know, a whole lot of different games. Maybe a lot of mobile games or something, but, um, you know, casual gamer or he also, he talks about casual gamers and casual players, which, I don't know, I think that's kind of like apples and oranges or something. It, he's saying it's two different types of things, but... I think that's making it much more complex than what it really needs to be, to be honest with you. But, um, uh, anyway, let's, uh, also keep going aware here. of the fact that Sims fans are casual gamers and that the game is generally considered a casual game. Let's take a look. Now, see, I d I'm sorry, man. I disagree with you. Simmers are not casual gamers. And he says that here. But then later on in this video, and I might have it in, in the pieces that I rendered out, I can't remember, but somewhere else in his video he was saying, well, no, I'm not saying that simmers are, all simmers are casual gamers and that they don't enjoy, uh, um, you know, more hardcore gamers or hardcore gamers don't enjoy simple games like The Sims, but so I think... I don't know, Optimus, you had a lot of information in your video, but there are places where you contradicted yourself, and I don't want to sit here and pick apart your video and stuff, and, you know, just like, oh, you know, at uh, 1 minute and 45 seconds of your video, you said this, and then 2 minutes and 33 seconds later, you said this. I'm not going to sit there and do that, man. I mean, that's just nitpicking. But I'm just saying from a third party perspective, when I when I was watching, you were saying one thing and then you were saying something else. And I'm not saying you did you were doing it on purpose or anything like that, but um that I'm just kinda going as as we're going here. So if if things are being taken out of context, it's not intended to be that way. So, not trying to start a war or anything like that. I'm just observing from a third-party perspective. And no, the episode doesn't actually end here. I didn't realize how long this video was until after I stopped recording, so I decided to break this into several parts. The next part is on the screen, so go ahead and click that to continue. Thanks for watching and hanging with me, and your comments are always welcome.